please welcome to the stage Robert Craven. Whoa. 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 Hey. Thank you very much. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I'm going to go straight to these guys because they talked about takeaway. So strategy workout. What's a strategy workout? What's the takeaway of the strategy workout? The takeaway is a, is a process and a system whereby chief executives from big businesses, so I've worked with Barclays, Rank Hovis, McDougall, and medium-sized businesses like uh, Nando's and Bigham's, uh, can firstly, they can firstly, they can understand how to create the strategy for their business. What is strategy? Yeah, where are we now? Where are we going? How are we going to get there while being aware of the world around you? Uh, and secondly, putting in place a process and a system so that they can actually make sure that the strategy actually runs through, actually gets implemented. So they actually have a, a dashboard metrics on a monthly basis they can measure so that they can make stuff happen. Does it work? The, the research from us is that people who put in place, who listen to me and then go away and do it, see their profits rise by about 25%. So I'm convinced that it works. The Bigham story was I met Bigham's at three and a half, you, you, you know Bigham's. I met them at three and a half million turnover. They're now at 25. The Nando story is that when I met them, they had two units. They've now got 120 units. And it was all based on that work. And what I was asked to do was just show some of my stuff. So if strategy is where are we now? Oh my God, where are we going? Because if we know where we want to be in three years' time, then we know where we need to be in two years' time. If we know where we need to be in two years' time, we know where we need to be in one year's time. If we know where we need to be in one year's time, we know what we need to do now. Then the first question is where are we now? So this is the question for you. How do I measure, how do I measure how good your business is? What are the sort of things, what are the numbers that I measure to tell me how good your business is? Go. Profit, profit, okay, we have profit, turnover. Any other financials? Cash flow, fantastic, you're a star. What you've given me is the financials. And if my friend Paul Barrow is here, Paul's a, an accountant, he'd be saying, finance is the engine of the business, cash flow is the most exciting thing in the world. What I like to do late at night is get myself a set of accounts and go to a dark and damp room and look at those accounts and get pleasure. But that's Paul for you. So what else is there? It's not just about finance. We know, we run businesses. It's not about finance. It's, how can it be about finance? People, what, do, what about the people? What about relationships? I can measure relationships. It doesn't make it a good business. Sorry? Sickness level is one thing. That suggests it's a bad business. But in terms of if I'm running a go. Happy staff, happy customers. Happy staff, happy customers. Okay, so let's stick with the customer. So we've got finance. We've got, I'm going to call it marketing, okay? Getting customers. How good are you at getting customers? That's a question number two. So we have now, we've got get the customers. Get the money, get the customers, get the money, get the customers, get the money. What's, what would the third bit be? Which you're kind of right with people. Brand I'd put underneath marketing. Culture. Culture I'd put under how you do stuff, which is, in this instance, operations. Doing the doing. Operations, getting the right food to the right table at the right time at the right temperature. Operations is having the right people trained in the right way, in the right manner, in the right format. Now, here's the rub, if we had the time, which I'd love you to have. What you can do is you can actually score your business, a score out of 10, with 10 is a high score, 0 is a low score. In fact, what I'd like you to do is just jot on a piece of paper in front of you, score for financial performance, how good is the money, not how pretty do your P&L accounts look, but basically the big one, which isn't profit, despite what they tell you, because businesses go bust, not because of lack of profit, they go bust because of lack of cash. So score out of 10 for your business for financial performance, Score out of 10 for marketing performance. Marketing is not about, oh, we've got flash version 11.7. Marketing is about how good are you at getting the customers that you want to buy from you. Everything else is irrelevant. And operations, okay? So those are the three. You can measure your business. We use this scores on the doors thing all the time in the business. Here's a couple of thought bubbles. Everyone is obsessed by finance. When we do the juggle, we always think, but the reality is we are all, all of us, totally and utterly obsessed with <laughs> finance. Now, the issue is, <laughs> which is the one you think we measure most of all when we're looking at the business? Finance 
heart attack. Marketing or operations? <laughs> Careful, she's had a brain tumor. She's had a brain tumor. <laughs> we're always ob obsessed by finance and we, and, we, and, we, and we have to do that. But the reality from my point of view is that your financial performance is simply a consequence of how good you are at marketing, how good you are at getting the customers, how good you are at delivering. That creates your financial performance. This can be used, this can be used with your clients. What are the scores on the doors? This can be used when you actually work with people, not only how good are we today, but also what are the scores we want? What will a seven out of 10 look like in three years time? My name's Robert Craven. That's a strategy workout, first section. Thank you very much. <laughs>